Hi, I'm Dr. Lois Frankel with another tip to help you tell people to go to hell so they look forward to the trip. Today I want to focus on what do you do when you find yourself getting emotional in a meeting. Because when you get emotional, it really does undermine your ability to ask for what you want. But, you know, I often say that telling a woman not to get emotional is a little bit like teaching a pig to sing. It just frustrates you and it annoys the pig. So I'm not going to tell you not to get emotional. I'm going to tell you how to handle it. The first thing that you're going to do is you're going to excuse yourself from the room. It's not so bad that you get emotional. It's bad when you stay, stay there and you start blubbering and everybody feels uncomfortable around you. So what you're going to say is, as you can see, I'm having strong feelings about this, so please excuse me and I'll be back. The second thing you're going to do while you've excused yourself is you are going to put words to those feelings. And I want you to ask yourself, what am I angry about? Okay, because if you can figure out what you're angry about, you can put words to it. And so you're going to put words to those emotions so that you can come back and say those words. And the third thing that you're going to do is you're going to ask yourself if the person or the people you're talking to remind you of anybody else in your life. Because sometimes what happens is we transfer emotions onto other people that remind us of people early in our lives, or they could even be present in our lives now, but it doesn't belong with those people. So you need to separate that out. Your boss is not your father. Your co-workers are, is, are not your brother and sister. So you need to work that stuff out outside of work. And so here's what it would sound like. You've already excused yourself. You come back in the room and you say, thank you for giving me a few minutes to collect myself. I realized what I'm really angry about is the fact that we've had this conversation on four other occasions and nothing has changed. I keep getting told that, yes, things are going to change, but they never do. And so now I'd like to make the request that moving forward, we need to do X, Y, Z to make this a reality. Now you can hear that I've turned that emotion into action. It's pretty hard to be tearful and angry at the same time. Let your anger propel you to action. This is Dr. Lois Frankel with a tip for how you can tell people to go to hell so they look forward to the trip. And I'll be back next week with another one. Have a good week.